Hi, everybody. My name is Pano Santos, and I am the Senior Technical Content Manager at Gurobi Optimization. Today, I'm going to give a tutorial about the cutting stock optimization application demo. The problem is to generate a master role cutting plan that minimizes the cost of cutting and procuring master roles consumed to satisfy all demand of the final roles. To access the cutting stock demo, you need to first register at the Gurobi website, then log in at the Gurobi website. So I am doing that right now. So after you have logged in, you need to go to demos.gurobi.com and then you will uh, access the, the, the demo that I am going to describe today. The cutting stock problem is an example of combinatorial optimization problems that cannot be attacked with machine learning techniques due to the astronomical number of possibilities in the solution space. Also, open source optimization solvers do not scale to real size cutting stock problems. Let me briefly give a, a, an introduction of the cutting stock problem. Consider a paper mill that needs to minimize operating cost while facing certain constraints. The mill supplies final roles to customers that are cut from several master roles of different widths. The width of a master role defines a master role type. The landing page um, of, of this demo has a section to create default scenarios you can, uh, from which you can create your own scenarios. There is a blank scenario where you can create your scenarios with your own data. For this tutorial, we use a scenario called example zero that we have previously created. So let me open that scenario that we have created. And um, in the master role page, we have a description of the types of master roles we can, we want to cut in order to satisfy the demand of final roles. The description of a master role type includes the width of the master role, the initial inventory, the buying cost, and the cutting, uh, cutting cost. For example, we have a master role of width uh, with uh, five uh, feet, an initial inventory uh, of three master role, a buying cost of $10 and a cutting cost of $1. If we want to add another uh, master role, we click this button and we create a new master role. In this case, we have all, all, all the all the settings for that master role. But we don't want to, to have that master role. So when you want to delete the master role, you just uh, uh, click on, on the master role that you want to, to delete and then click on this waste basket button and then you delete the master role. Uh, also in, in this page, you have a bar chart with the initial inventories of each type of master role that you want to consider. In, in the page of final uh, roles, uh, we have a description of each, of each type of the final roles. The description includes the width of, of, of the final role and the demand of the final role. For example, um, we have one final role with um, two, two feet uh, width and a demand of uh, seven uh, final roles. And in this uh, page also, we have a bar chart with the demand levels of each um, uh, final role. Now we, we go to the optimize uh, page. If you see, you, uh, you, uh, you, can, you can see this yellow button meaning that the, currently the input data 
that we have is not compatible with the output that is currently in this in this demo. So this yellow uh, circle means that you need to re-optimize because you have made some changes in 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 in, in the data. Um, also, you ha we have a configuration parameters that will control the optimization. So, for example, the spare threshold parameter defines the minimum width of unused material that can be reused to satisfy uh, future demand. So, in this particular case, we have uh, that uh, if you if you have a, a leftover or unused material of two feet uh, width, then you can reuse that that. Uh, that material to satisfy future demand and also uh, you have a configuration parameter here that relates to the number of knives um, and in this particular case we we have a machine that has two two knives and uh, so let's let's run the the optimization and then after the optimization completed you can click this uh, log button where you, you will get a description of what the Gurobi optimizer uh, has done uh, during this optimization process. So I'm not going to enter the details of that. So now let's go to the solution page. Um, in this page, you, you can see the different uh, configuration parameters that the Gurobi optimizer recommends in order to minimize operating costs while satisfying all the demand of final roles. For example, in this uh, first uh, row, of, uh, we have a cutting pattern that describes that we are using a master role of 10 uh, feet width. And the, padding, the cutting pattern is that we are cutting a final roll of eight feet uh, width and we have unused material of two feet width. But since the threshold parameter is two feet width, means that um, this unused material can be spared. And that's what the, the column spare uh, means, that there is unused material that can be spared of width two. Also, the quantity column tell you that you are going to cut three master roles following this pattern. Also notice that when you have uh, uh, two knives, uh, you can use one knife or two knives. So the number of pieces that uh, you, you, you will have when you use uh, the two knives, it will be three pieces. And when you use one knife, it will be two pieces. So you, 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 will, you can check that all the, the cutting patterns satisfy that. And then in the left, in the right side, you have a table that will describe the number of master rolls of width uh, 10 feet that you need to procure. In this particular case, we need to procure 26 master rolls. So let's go now to the KPI uh, page where we will have a description of, of the different KPIs um, that can be calculated based on this optimization, uh, based on the optimization uh, parameters that we have configured. And these KPIs allows you to compare uh, different scenarios and, and see uh, how, how efficient is, is, is the configuration that, that, that you have set. So, one KPI is the consumption efficiency, which measures how much of the material of the master role that we cut is used to satisfy demand of final roles. So in this particular scenario, we have that the consumption efficiency in green is 82.5%. Also, uh, another parameter is the consumption uh, inefficiency, which can be calculated uh, uh, by uh, taking 100 minus the consumption efficiency, and you will get uh, a consumption inefficiency of 17.5%. Really, the consumption 
inefficiency measures the amount of unused material uh, uh, that uh, that you have when you use these these cutting patterns, and the um, the consumption inefficiency can be partitioned in, into two uh, KPIs. One is uh, the scrap material, and the other one is the reusable spare. And as you can see, with this cutting pattern, we don't have any scrap material. So it means that all the material that we have left over can be reused in the future. We have another two, uh, two more KPIs. One is called the capacity utilization. And the capacity ut utilization KPI measures how many master roles are consumed respect to the on hand and procure roles. In this particular scenario, we have a capacity utilization of 94.9%. Another KPI is the inventory utilization, which is similar to the capacity utilization. But in this case, we only consider the material of a master role consumed to satisfy demand of final roles. So in this uh, scenario, we have uh, uh, an inventory utilization of 78.3%. We have other KPIs that we can calculate um, by each type of master role, but I am not going to, to discuss it at this point. For more information um, related to, 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 to this demo, you can click the help button uh, at, the, uh, in, at the bottom of the left-hand side of, of, of the demo. And, um, you can you can have you can read an overview of the whole demo uh, of the cutting demo. Also, you can read definitions of the different concepts that we have in the demo. You have a, a tutorial here that will tell you step by step, similar to what I have been doing here, how to create a, a scenario and how to interpret the different results. And finally. We have a section where we describe in detail the architecture uh, behind these, these, these demos. Thank you for, for, for watching this video, and we hope you explore in more detail this demo and realize the power of mathematical optimization and the Gurobi optimizer to solve combinatorial uh, optimization problems. See you next time.